Hi guys, uh, this is another uh, session in the series of Stay at Home, Be a Hero. We will try to help you go through this coronavirus lockdown so that you can break the chain and make sure that we all come out safe during this period of time. Uh, if you like this video, please do share it with your friends who are preparing for CAT and other MBA entrance examinations. Please do subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can leave your comments, feedback regarding this video and any other video on our channel and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you would like, please do uh, subscribe to our courses as well. The link is available in the description. Let's get on with it. Hi, uh, this is a question which came up in past CAT paper. I would suggest if you have not tried it, please do solve this. The entire question set along with the answer key is available in the description of this video. You can click that link and uh, check that question out before you proceed with the rest of the session. So this is a question which is on the basis of entry and exit into a lounge. It's a very nice question. Let's see what this says. Seven faculty members at a management institute frequent a lounge for strong coffee and stimulating conversation. On being asked about their visit to the lounge last Friday, we got the following responses. JC said, I came in first, the next two people were SS and SM. When I left the lounge, these people are present, then JP entered, then SM, and all those things are given to you, right? And on the basis of this, you have to figure out which of the two JP or DG entered the lounge first, who was sitting when JP and JC entered the lounge, how many of the seven members did VR meet in the lounge on Friday and who are the last two people to leave. So to figure out who entered in which order and you also have to f figure out who were present and he met that, that particular faculty met that person or left with that person throughout that particular part. So let me just tabulate so I will figure out the event and then see what will, who is in the lounge after that event happened. <clears throat> okay. So it says JC came in first. So first one is JC and the next two people to enter were SS and SM. So JC followed by SS and SM entered. So once all three entered, you will have JC, SS, SM into the lounge. Right, they enter the lounge. Okay, when I left the lounge, okay, so I can take this out. When I left the lounge, JP and VR were present in the lounge. DG left with me. Okay, so DG has has to enter with him, and then he will have to leave. So DG's entry happens after them. Okay, and also if you look at it, JP and VR were also present. So JP and VR will also enter along uh, before he leaves the lounge okay we'll come to that later jp says when i entered vr jc were sitting vr and jc were sitting but ss and sm were not there which means these two people left by the time jp came right and he entered along with vr okay and there was also somebody else which i did not remember okay we'll figure that out Okay, SM says, I went to the lounge for a short while, met JC, SS and DG. So JC is already there, SS is there. DG also comes into the lounge on that day. Okay. SS says, I left immediately after SM. Okay. Now, if you observe, JP's entry has to be after SM leaves and also after SS leaves because both of them leave together. Right. So after some point of time, SM and SS will leave. Right. And JP enters after that, after this event. Right. But since SM met DG, DG has to enter before these people leave. Right. DG has to enter before these people leave. Now DG says, I met JC, SS, SM, JP, VR during my first visit. Okay. So he visits twice. Okay. That is another complexity. And I went back to my office with JC. He leaves with JC and then he returns again. Second time JP and VR were there. JP and VR were there. PK said, 
I had some urgent work, so I did not sit in the lounge that day. So I just collected my coffee. JP and DG were the only people in the lounge. So JP was there, DG was there. So JP has come only after SM and SS have left. So PK also enters and exits after SM and SS have left. And VR says no comments. Okay, anything else we left? Okay, JP enters with VR. Okay, so JP and VR enter here. So we know one sequence. First, these three people enter, then DG enters. So you'll have JC, SS, SM, and DG in the lounge. And then these two people leave. SM and SS will leave. Right? Only then the rest of the sequence will happen. So this part is done. Okay. Now the person who was there cannot be either SS or SM because both of them left together. So it has to be somebody else. So somebody else might have entered in between and we'll figure that out later on. Okay. But at least this part we know initial sequence of events is JC, SS, SM come in, then DG comes in and these two people leave. Okay. So I have tabulated this part. Okay. Now let's look at JP's entry. <clears throat> now JP entered the lounge with VR. JP enters with VR. Okay, DG has also entered. And we know PK has to enter after these people. PK has to enter after these people. Right? Because when PK comes in, JP is already present. Right? When I was entering with JC, uh, VR, JC was sitting there. JC was there with somebody else. Who was that somebody else? DG was there. Right, DG was there, right? Uh, but I cannot remember who it was. So, okay, this part is taken care of. So the next entry was JP and VR enter. So people inside the lounge will be now JC, DG, JP, and VR. Okay. Now, he has, JC has now met JP and VR also. Okay, this part is done. And he leaves the lounge with DG. He leaves the lounge with DG. Now, let's check with DG because he has come twice, right? So DG says, I met JC, SS, SM, JP, VR during my first visit. So DG has met JC, SS, SM, JP and VR, okay, in the first visit. That is fine. And I left my office with JC. So the next event will be JC and DG leave. JC and DG leave. So which means now people left will be JP and VR in the lounge. JP and VR in the lounge. So first part of this is taken care of. Okay, I've also taken care of this. Okay, so JC is done. JP is done. DG first part is done. <coughs> okay. When I went to the lounge the second time, JP and VR were still there. When he went to the lounge, JP and VR were still there. Okay. So DG, when he enters, JP and VR has to be still there. Now, PK came to the coffee house for an urgent work. And DG and JP were the only people in the lounge when I was there. So when PK comes in, only JP and DG should be there. But now VR is also available over here. Which means after DG comes in, VR has to leave. And then PK enters and exits. PK enters and then exits to collect the coffee. Right? And then he goes. And VR has already exited. So in the last, only G. Okay, so after DG enters... You'll have DG, JP, and VR. Once VR leaves, you'll have only DG and JP. PK enters and exits. That is done. So at the end of all this, only PK is available over here. Okay, so I've broadly figured out what is going on. Let's go to the questions one by one and try to solve them.
okay so so in the start there was nobody then you had i've tabulated the entire sequence okay and in the end pk enters and leaves at the same time so i've just put it pk will meet these two people and then leave okay question number 1 based on the responses which of the two jp or dg entered the lounge first who entered first jp entered or dg entered uh dg enters first option 2 right jp enters after sm and ssd whereas dg enters before that okay question number 2 who was sitting with jc when jp entered the lounge when jp entered the lounge people sitting were people sitting were jc and dg so option 3 question number 3 how many of the seven members did vr meet in the lounge okay who did vr meet vr would meet jc dg jp just these three people because vr leaves here right vr leaves here so option 2 okay does not meet pk <coughs> all right and the last one who were the last two faculty members to leave the lounge last two will be jp and dg because once pk enters and exits these two people are left jp and dg option 4 is your correct choice a brilliant set uh, more made more difficult because dg came in exited and then comes in up again this is the basis of a lot of questions which come up in mocks a lot of uh, replica of this which people struggle with there are uh, there are cases where people come in then go out then come in again so these have been like you know done till death or extended till death but the basic process is this original question i would suggest uh, if you want to look at arrangement sequencing sort of question this is one set which you should try and revise again this is by no means a easy set i would say it is between moderate and difficult bordering towards difficult in an exam situation it's pretty painful to work out especially the entry and exit and reentry again uh, i would not be surprised if you take about 10 to 12 maybe even more minutes to solve this that completes uh, this particular session on break the chain uh, if you liked it please do share it with your friends who are preparing for cat and other mb entrance examinations please do subscribe to this channel leave a comment on how you felt this video was if you want and if you have any suggestions on any other videos which we need to do during this period please do let us know if you would like to do look at our courses the link is available in the description till we meet again the next time goodbye and stay safe